tonight in the Tri-State are reflecting on their memories made at the cathedral, we asked you to post your photos from a visit on our Eyewitness News Facebook page. Eyewitness News' Amelia Young is in the newsroom and has been hearing from the community about memories once made at Notre Dame. Brad, whether it was decades ago or just last month, memories of seeing the enormous cathedral and stepping inside for the first time are now at the front of a lot of Tri-Seders' minds. And my heart just sank and I thought, no, it can't be true. Around the world, hearts are hurting of the images and videos of the Notre Dame Cathedral burning. The connections reach throughout the tri-state, whether it was for vacation or a school trip. Many are now recalling their visit to the historic building. We went to Notre Dame on uh, January 1st for Mass, mm -hmm. and it was just out of this world. The to see it in person, you know. Sister Roseanne Spalding of Precious Blood Catholic Church in Owensboro visited Notre Dame with family in 1988. And we took pictures and we lit candles in honor of people back home. Watching the building burn was more than difficult. And just to see the flames in that church, I thought, oh no, it can't ever, ever be the same again. Never will it be like it was when I saw it in 1988. She recalls the paintings, stained glass windows, and size of the cathedral that blew her away. It just overwhelmed me to look at all. You could take it all in at one time. I just pray for all those that are involved now, and, you know, and the ones who are trying to save it or and rebuild it in any way possible they can. But she knows it will never be the same and considers herself lucky to have been able to see it. It is very, very sad for all the whole world, really not just for them, but for the whole world. Sister Roseanne says while the photos of her trip may be long gone, the memories will stay with her forever. And head to our website, tristatehomepage.com, to hear from more Tristaters and their reactions. In the newsroom, Amelia Young, Eyewitness News.